Hi, this is the PoE++ BT switch. A little no different from the regular PoE switch. It says it can output 90 watts through a single PoE port. The regular PoE switch only outputs 30 watts. The reason this switch can output such high power because it uses the latest PoE standard, BT, which takes all four twist pairs in the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable to send the power. The regular PoE only takes half of twist pair to send the power. Here we got four PoE ports. Only the port 1 and port 2 can output 90 watt. Port 3, port 4 only output 30 watt. This is the uplink port. From the back end, we can know the power source is not built in. We need to use external power supply unit. This is 180 watt external power supply unit. We will separate the power from inside. The reason is because if we try to build this high power supply unit into this case, we need to make the case very large. So it's more reasonable to use the external power supply unit. The typical application is we can use this PoE++ to power the PDD camera with the heater built in. Or this is Wi-Fi access point, which requires high power. We also can use this switch to power the all-in-one computer. In this video, I'm going to introduce a very special application. I will use this PoE power switch, PoE++ switch to power another PoE switch. You may wonder why we need this kind of application. Let's say if we already have the cable in the field and connecting to the camera. Now we need to add more camera or other IP device such like access point. It could be very difficult to put a new cable from the center to the edge. In this case, we can use this PoE power switch. Just reuse the existing K5 K6 Ethernet cable to expand the PoE port. Okay, now let's make a quick setup and see how this works. First, I will remove the cable from the camera and connect to the port number 8, which can take the PoE power from another PoE injector and PoE switch. I need this short punch code to link one of the PoE ports to the camera, so we are not going to lose the camera. Now you can see we have 6 PoE additional ports. Okay, let's move back to the center. This is the PoE++ switch. First, let me power up the switch and connect this AC outlet to this power adapter. And we have to connect the cable to port 1 or port 2. It will be fine. Both ports can output 90 watt maximum power budget. The last thing is I need to connect the uplink port to the network video recorder. We also connect this uplink port to the router if you don't have the right network video recorder. Now we can see the indicators on, which means the PoE++ switch is providing the power and data exchange to the edge switch. It will take a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. I think the camera is live now. This is motorized zoom camera. It need to zoom in and zoom out to find the best focus. This solution becomes reasonable is because this switch can output 90 watt. We also can use the standard PoE to output the PoE power switch, but the power budget will become very low. So it cannot supply so many IP cameras. In this setup, we will have 75 watt available power budget at the edge. It can supply 6 or 7 IP cameras in total. Alright, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.